it has Funky Kong in it. 10 out of 10, stay tuned everybody. And no, but seriously, this trailer is a pretty massive improvement over the last one in almost every way possible. Now, I thought that the first teaser looked pretty decent. Perhaps it was because my expectations were so insanely low, but I couldn't deny the fact that our first look at the movie was... Game. Somewhat competent. It promised a badass version of Bowser, had some nice voice work sometimes, I should stress, and it also had some fantastic visuals that I did not expect from a company like Illumination that I usually despise from all fronts. Although it was fairly vague in many areas and didn't show off much in terms of what we could expect from the story and characterization, which raised suspicion for myself personally. This new trailer, on the other hand, addresses the majority of my concerns and then some. It is not perfect by any means, but as a video game adaptation of Super Mario Bros., it has basically everything I could ask for. The trailer strikes a great balance between giving us a new twist on Mario while also feeling faithful at the same time to the franchise's feel. They take previously established elements from the source material and expand upon them in new fresh ways, creating what looks to be a different yet interesting and familiar universe. We have this world map over distinctly different islands that are surrounding the Mushroom Kingdom, for example featuring Yoshi's and Donkey Kong's island, but there is even more beyond this based on Peach's speech on how all galaxies are counting on Mario. A little remark like that teases the possibility of this setting being massive in its scale at a degree of even perhaps including stuff from Super Mario Galaxy. And goddamn will it be satisfying to witness this universe come alive on the big screen with this strong animation and visuals showcased here, even if the story may turn out to be garbage. I am very pleased to see that the movie looks great across the board and is aesthetically very appealing, despite some textures being a little bit too realistic for my taste. The cartoony bounciness the animation has is also so fitting for the whimsical Mario universe and makes the comedic timing in some parts pretty endearing. Hopefully Illumination will keep up such a visual quality for their future endeavors, even after Nintendo isn't breathing down their neck for actual quality. Hey Ferb, I know what we're gonna do today! No! But the animation for the characters are not the only fun part about them, because they seem to be pretty delightful in terms of their personalities. Peach has had the biggest overhaul for her character, now being a competent and strong-headed leader instead of the usual damsel in distress. Like a lot of people, yes, I could definitely see this change coming a mile away, but I never expected it to be executed in this non-pandering way. Her non-existent personality for the mainline games almost made it mandatory for a change in character for the movie, and I predicted that Illumination would make the worst modern interpretation possible, like a blatantly patronizing girl boss character that would constantly spout out egregious try-hard one-liners that are insisting on them being subversive and progressive. At the same time, while they insist on that, they entirely miss the point of of being forward-thinking by only pointing out how she's not like other girls without giving her a trait other than her repeatedly staining that, and not having her actions naturally reflect that. And they would give the illusion of addressing it in other words, I think that a Mr. Knuckles the Wise once said that. Against all odds, she actually seems to be a fun character that gets shit done and wants to defend her people at every cost. She's also sort of forced to do it with her less than stellar army. We don't get to see much of the Linguini or hear him talk about puberty, puberty and its many effects. effects, but he seems to be more or less his usual goofy cowardly self, fulfilling the role of the one being the kidnapped ones this time around. Even if the Gween Man may be captured, I personally believe that he will have his upbringing where someone will eventually be luigi -ed. Bowser is easily still going to be the best part of the film though, for the same reasons I brought up in my previous video on the first trailer. Based on that Snow Kingdom attack scene, he seemed to be characterized in such a perfect way, and this trailer further solidified that, even making me fully on board with Jack Black as Bowser this time around, now that I have heard more from him. His performance and casting hair is simply fantastic. 
and I'm happy to say that all of the voices showcased here are pretty dang good across the board. Anya Taylor-Joy and Charlie Day do not put up much of a voice, but at least they sound engaged and do fit their characters fairly well, which I truly, truly do appreciate. Especially when we have another certain voice that is literally without a doubt the absolute biggest detriments to this whole film. And that of course being Chris fucking Pratt. That's enough. Like holy shit, not only is his limited voice range unfitting for the role, but it is also so incredibly apparent that he is bored out of his freaking mind. Even in the most dire of situations, he holds back so much and screams like he doesn't want to wake up his parents or something. Never have I heard such a horrendous performance from a high profile movie with such a large budget since like Lion King 2019 or something like that. Yes. Some people have made a comparison between Charlie Day and Chris Pratt that, hey, people are positive towards Charlie Day and not Chris Pratt when the two of them use their usual voices. Isn't that a bit hypocritical? Well, yes, I won't deny that Charlotte Day is not doing an over-the-top Italian voice and is indeed more or less doing his normal voice for Luigi, but the difference for him is that he manages to give off the impression that he genuinely gives a crap and seems to be engaged in making his voice work for Luigi. Chris Homophobe's take, on the other hand, makes him sound so uninterested and confused. I'm not sure if this is the voice direction to blame, since he has sounded more engaged previously as the common everyday man in movies like the Lego movie as Emmett, but it is either way insane how his performance was considered to be acceptable in any way here. This strikes me as particularly baffling when this is the main character we're talking about here. Mario in the Mario movie has to be compelling and fun, otherwise it is obviously a huge detriment to the overall film's quality. Even if they may nail a bunch of other aspects in the movie, it won't mean jack all if our protagonist that we have to follow throughout the majority of the runtime is shit in both his voice and personality. Like, of course, it's not fully certain that Mario will be written in a poor way in terms of his character, but the trailer has me worried. We only get to see Mario being a generic everyday man that is so incompetent at being a hero and there doesn't seem to be much jolly or charming stuff about him either that we've come to expect from our lovable plumber. Sure, it is fun in a meta sense seeing Chris Pratt's character getting the ever-living shit beaten out of him constantly when failing, but that is only because my brain works in mysterious ways. We were robbed by the French dub though, like Damn, that's embarrassing how this beats the original language for the film. Well, I can at least say that I'm pretty excited for this movie now, which I never ever expected to be the case for an Illumination film, but hey, here we are. It seems to have fun animation, striking visuals, an intriguing world, potentially good adaptations of the Mario cast, and references that, for now, are appropriate and not too egregious, but actually fits and enhances things. Seriously, I love the Donkey Kong representation showcased here, but it's just... Mario himself is the fatal gripe here, and I hate to say that, especially after how well they seem to handle the other aspects and having that exact same concern with the first trailer. If anything, I'm more skeptical of the Red Plumber and his terrible casting now than I was previously. Looking past that though, I hope that this will just be a pure and fun trip featuring some of our beloved Mario characters that are faithfully expanded upon in their cinematic form. My predictions are more or less settled in stone by this point, so for now I think we'll just have to wait until the eventual release before we can know for sure how great or disappointing everything will pan out. So with all of that said, this has been Raccoon Animations, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned.